back to my channel it's your girl holiday and I am back with another natural hair video in today's video we are doing something a little special a little different I have here with me my brother Elijah say hey Hi. <laughs> today we'll be interlocking his dreadlocks we'll be interlocking his hair you want to show him what it looks like like it's it's a lot in there you want to take this down yeah Show it off, Elijah, show it off. Show it off, hey. Hey, show it off. Okay. Okay, before we even get into it, I just wanna say this. I'm going on five years natural, right? He is three years, and the length that his hair grows versus mine, I don't, it's not fair. I don't accept it, but, we move. Anyway, yeah, so I started off his locks for him and then he transitioned to doing it professionally and then went back to me doing it. And um, we do not palm roll his hair because he's very active and working out and he sweats a lot. So it's just gonna unroll if we palm roll his hair. So we interlock his hair so he can stay there. So with all that being said, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. But before that, would you like to say anything? Um, uh, thank Lolly for doing my hair. <laughs> Yay, that's what I wanted you to say. I'm the best sister ever for doing his hair. Y'all, he has a lot of hair. I don't, it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot. So I appreciate that. Anyway, let's get started. Oh my God. It's about time. It's about time. Y'all. <laughs> so, oh my God. <laughs> it's a lot of hair. So, he just washed it with, um, what's this thing called? The Cantu shampoo and the Blueberry Bliss mixed in together. That's what I do for my hair. So, that's what he did. Um, as y'all can see, like, when his hair is like wet, the length is crazy, is like right here. So this is all his locks. I don't know if I can see. So in this video we'll be using a few things. First we have, of course, water just in case, you know, I need it. Then of course, ponytail holder to hold all that hair. Um, scissors. Comb and a, um, what is this called? A crochet needle. And the actual product that we'll be using is Lock Lock Gel, and it holds cornrows, braids, locks, and twists tighter, longer. So I want you guys to really see um, inside of his hair and see how matted and how all the locks kind of, you know, merged together at the root. Um, so this is the before. So as y'all can see, I shaved back here. So yeah, so I interlock and then I shave back here, on the sides, on this side, and in the front. So, but y'all will see all that at the end. Ooh. These are matted together. Okay. <laughs> Let me bring these down. Elijah. We should never wait this long ever again. Yeah, I know. All right, everyone, now I'm going to go into detail on how I interlock Elijah's hair. 
Firstly, I like to work on wet hair and then apply the product. You really don't need too much product because you do not want product buildup. Now, as you guys can see, we waited a bit too long to re-interlock Elijah's hair, but that's okay. So what we're gonna do here, or what I like to do is to detangle as much hair as I can with my fingers and the hairs that are stuck together, I would cut them off, I'll cut them. But you're not really losing any hair because they're sticking to the lock. So I would separate the locks by cutting the hair. And it's usually about two to three to four strands that are connected. It's not really like you're losing hair. I totally forgot to mention that we also use clips. So when you're interlocking, you really want your parts to be clean. So any extra hairs, it would be best to clip away because you don't want extra pieces of hair getting mixed up in your interlock. Normally, I do not put these many clips in Elijah's hair while I'm interlocking, but because of this video, I really wanted you guys to see what I'm doing and for it to be clear. So I'll be showing you guys how I interlock these four locks. Interlocking is actually very simple. Once you get the technique down, you are set. The way that I like to interlock, I believe is very beginner friendly. So let's go ahead and get started. So like I said before, it's best to have clean parts. So you see me here parting Elijah's hair, um, making the parts clean. So now, as y'all can see, I am working with two sections now and I'm going to roll the other one out of the way and we're gonna focus on the one on the left. And by me rolling it, it kind of keeps all the extra new growth out of the way and it keeps my part clean. All right, so now the fun part. Before I actually explain what I am doing, I really want you guys to know that the direction where you put the crochet needle is very important. So the directions on how I'm gonna explain it is by saying side, top, and bottom. When I say side, it does not matter whether you're coming in from the left side or the right side. Me, I'm left-handed, so I would mostly go in from the left side and if you're right-handed, you'll mostly go in from the right side, but it does not matter what side you're coming in from when I say side. One thing that you need to know, probably the most important thing that you need to know about interlocking is that you should never, or you should try to never go in the same direction multiple times. As you guys can see, I am inserting the crochet needle from the side and after I get it through, I go from the top, and after that, I go from the side. Or even after that, I can go from the bottom. But I never go from side multiple times, I never go from the top multiple times, I never go from the bottom multiple times. If you do it that way, you will be creating a hole in the lock. So it should always be from the side to the top or side to bottom, never from top to bottom or side to side. And if you do make a mistake from going from top to bottom or side to side, or even going from one side multiple times, it's not the end of the world. You know, it's fine. Just continue going in that pattern of top, side, bottom. You can even do top, side, bottom, side, top, side, bottom, side. That's what I ended up doing after a while. So once you get to your roots and you feel like, okay, this is gonna be my last interlock, I love to go from the bottom. And the reason why I do this is because I want the lock to lay flat. If your last interlock ends up being from the side, you know it's not the end of the world. But just because it's me and I'm a perfectionist, we're gonna try to make it lay flat and have all the locks go in one direction. And it also really looks good that way too. So I have a tip for you guys. One thing to let you know that you're doing it right, once you put the crochet needle through and you see two strands of hair on that crochet needle, that's when you know that you're interlocking correctly. If you don't see those two lines when you insert the crochet needle, then you might be creating a hole. 
So that is one tip that I have for you guys. But if you're going from top to side, top to side, bottom to side, bottom to side, you will always have those two lines there. So you don't need to like check every second if you see those two lines. That's just a tip. Now, if you have a lot of new growth or loose strands, this is what I like to do to kind of keep those strands under control. So I would first detangle the hair and gather all the loose hairs, then begin to finger coil those ends to the lock. This is just one technique that I like to do to kind of help me keep my lines straight and neat and to make sure that all the hair that I'm going to interlock stays on the lock. So as y'all can see, while I'm interlocking, all the ends that were frizzy before are now coiled onto the lock. So in the upcoming clips, I'm going to be showing you guys how I keep the frizz under control. As y'all saw before, I would palm roll, but in the upcoming clips, I decided to kind of twist, almost coil the loose hairs onto the lock. So here's the entire process on how I interlock. First, I like to detangle and separate. Then add some moisture by adding water and product. Then begin to make my lines clean. Then detangle, then wrap the loose ends around the lock, then begin to interlock. So this is the section that I was talking about earlier about having frizziness. So what I did was just wrap or coil the loose hairs around the lock. So if you like this video, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace. Somebody thinks he's sexy. Somebody thinks he's cute. I don't even know. Winter, autumn. It's hot. It's hot. This, these lights are hot. You feel it though, right? Like the heat from the, the lights. It's warm. I thought the lights were too harsh. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you looking for? <laughs>
Okay, Elijah, just tie your hair. <laughs> tie your hair. Everything, put everything up. Maybe that's the solution for me. Maybe I should lock my hair, you know? Just to get some kind of growth, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, back to the video. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna model for them? You gonna show them up close? Elijah, you mm -hmm. got time. Uh, I got I'm show. rolling. Do this after. Okay, fine. Thank you. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Okay. Summer. I. I. <laughs>